Declaration of G. Name redacted. An exhibit in support of the Flores Agreement. I. G. Declare under penalty of perjury that the following is true and correct to the best of my knowledge and recollection. My name is G. My birthday is date redacted. I am seven years old. I am from El Salvador. I came with my aunt K, name redacted, and her female cousin. They are both big. We came to the United States because there were people who wanted to hurt us. There were people who had eyes on me whenever I went to school. My aunt, her cousin, and I looked for border patrol after we walked into the United States. We found them right away, and they told us to get into a car with the other people that we had come with. From there they took me to a tent where it was very cold and there were no blankets. My aunt, her cousin, and I slept on the ground in the tent. We spent the night there. I woke up in the very early morning. It was still dark outside. I was scared because my aunt was not there next to me any more. My aunt's cousin told me that she wasn't there any more because she was pregnant and the baby was on the way. I started to cry. Someone called my name about an hour later, and they took me to where my aunt was. She was sitting in a normal chair and was not connected to anything. I was very, very scared, but it was a relief to see her. I was there with my aunt in a small room for just a little while. Then we were taken outside. An officer told me to get into a car. My aunt was standing outside the car. They told me that she was not coming with me. I wanted to go back to where my aunt's cousin was, but they would not let me. When I went to go see my aunt, I did not know that they would not bring me back to my aunt's cousin. I felt like they had tricked me. A lady officer brought me here, to the Clint Border Patrol Station. Today is the fourth day that I have been here. I am in room 203 with between tw 10 and 20 girls. On some days a nurse comes and brings two combs for everybody to share. One is a lice comb and the other one is a normal hairbrush. They leave the combs with the children in the room for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then someone comes back and tells us to give them back the lice comb and the hairbrush. Yesterday, after lunch, a nurse brought the lice comb and hairbrush. A little while later, a guard came back and asked for the lice comb and hairbrush. He was bald and had a light complexion. When the guard asked for the lice comb and hairbrush, we, didn't, we did not know where they were. We looked at each other to see who had the combs. The guard was angry and asked in a rough voice who had the brushes. The other kids were scared, and so was I. I felt dizzy and started to cry. He said that we had ten minutes to look for the combs, and that if we could not find them, that we were going to be without beds and without covers. He gave us ten minutes. All of us were panicked, looking for the combs. We looked under the beds. Kids asked each other if they had seen the brushes. He came back and yelled at us, asking if we had found the combs. We had to tell him that we couldn't find them. When we told him, officers came into the room and started taking everything away. They took pillows and blankets. We had a blanket that we were using to hold up in front of the bathroom because there is not a door. The officer took even that one. He said that we were going to sleep on the floor. He said it was punishment for losing the combs. What he said was true. We all slept on the hard tile floor last night. Nobody tried to climb into a bed, because the guards said they were going to take away anybody who tried to get into the bed. They told us we could not have blankets any more. I asked to call my dad, who lives in Washington, D.C. An officer took me out into the hallway to call my dad. I told my dad what happened. My dad asked to speak to someone who works in the place where I am being held. I passed the phone to a man officer, but I cannot remember what the officer said to my dad. I, G, swear under penalty of perjury that the above declaration is true and complete to the best of my abilities. This declaration was provided in Spanish, a language in which I am fluent, and was read back to me in Spanish. February twentieth, 2019